Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to um, set up project number two, which is the non-switched outlet and switched light. So essentially, this part is going to remain the same. And what we are going to do is we're going to add an outlet. So in order to add the outlet, what we're going to do is we're just going to add this, uh, the outlet to this third box over here. So everything else remains the same. We've got our lamp post for our light. We've got our switch, and then we're going to go ahead and add the rest of it. Now, this is the way this was set up in the last, uh, in the first video, on uh, just a simple switch, so it lit up fine. We want to make sure that our our power is out; it's not plugged in. And we're just going to simply take this apart. I'm going to take this off the bottom. I've already loosened the screw up. I'll loosen that up a little bit more, just like so. This is my power coming in. These are wire nutted together. So I'm going to want to take this off. I'm going to take this off like this. And one of the easiest things to do when you're taking these apart is to go ahead and put your put these to the side. We're going to go ahead and bend those off like so. We're just going to re-bend them like that. Straighten them out. And then what I like to do with these that we've wire nutted is just trim it right off like so. Go put it in the wastebasket and then we'll just restrip those. It's pretty easy. And then with this, a lot of times that pigtail will just go ahead and just come right off like so. Okay, cool. We're going to need this pigtail again for grounding this next exercise. So we're in good shape. Okay, so now that I've got that off to the side, I'm going to go ahead and modify my, my model here. So I'm going to go ahead and just loosen up just by twisting to the left, like so. I'm going to go ahead and make sure all this is nice and loose. Again, be careful when you're moving these wires because you will cut yourself on the ends. So this is my power coming in. What I'm going to do is going to carefully pull that power out. So now I'm ready to get my next step. Now you're going to need a second piece of Romex for this model. And the reason you need a second piece is you need something to go from this box for the outlet. And I'm going to get an outlet out from my bag. There's your outlet. So I'm going to get that ready to go. I'm going to need a second piece of Romex to go from this box to this box. And you don't need a very big piece of Romex or a very long piece of Romex because it's a pretty short run. So something like that would be just fine. So in order to get one a little bit longer, so this one's a little bit longer. That'll help us out. So again, I'm going to go ahead and strip my Romex off, my Romex sheathing, that is, just like we've done before. Should go pretty quick. Now you know why electricians make such a mess. That's why I have the wastebasket down below here. So we're going to go ahead and peel this back. And while I've got that tool in my hand, I might as well do the other side. Okay. Again, I want to be careful I don't cut off any of the wires when I'm removing the sheathing and the insulation here. Use my waste basket here so I don't have as much to clean up at the end of class. I go ahead and trim this off like this, right into the waste basket. I'm 
Okay. And there we have it. Okay, so now I am prepped up and I'm going to go into my boxes here. Now for this one I'm going to go through the top because I'm going to bring my power in through here. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay. So now the exact same thing is going to be done here um, as far as your prep. You're going to go ahead and strip off your wire. Again, using your 14 gauge stripper, just like that. This is prepped up over here now for our outlet. And this is where we're going to put our switch. So we're going to put our switch exactly like we had it here. Um, probably the easiest way to do that is to just loosen this up on the pigtail. Go ahead and pigtail all of this exactly the way we did when we connected our switch the last time. So I'm not going to go through that again. That's exactly the way we're going to do it with this pigtail. Now, let's assume that it is we have enough time left at the end of class to put our power in. Now assuming we do have enough time, what we're going to do is do another pigtail. And when we do another pigtail, I'm going to make sure that I have a pigtail available to me. And if you don't, just ask your instructor and I will be happy to get one to you. And again, the pigtail is, you know, about a five or six inch piece of copper, ground wire. And we're going to go ahead and make a pigtail. Now, we'll assume again that we have enough time at the end of the hour. We take our power, just like we did before. This time we're going to have to make sure that we strip off this right here, our neutral. All right. And we're going to bring our power in through the bottom. Okay. So now, in order to wire up this outlet, I'm going to come over here so we get a little better look at it. There we go. And in order to wire this up, it's actually pretty simple. Um, we're going to move our grounds off to the side. If you look at both sides of the outlet, this side has silver screws, this side has brass screws. Black to brass and white to silver. Pretty easy to remember. So what I'm going to do is take my needle nose pliers. I'm going to take both of my black or hot wires. Again, curl them around to the right. And this is a little tip. When you hold this up, your usually want the, in, this, in most household applications, although in a lot of businesses you'll see it like this, there's, there's different ways that um, you can do it. You can either do it uh, where the ground plug or ground post is on the top or like this. Most people do it like this, but um, anyway, the <clears throat> easy way to remember is black to brass, so I'm going to curl this around to the right like that. And you're going to put it on exactly the same way you did with the, um, with the switch and the lamp post. So put a little pressure on it to hold it tight. Go ahead and snug it up. Go ahead and do that. Same thing here. Now again, you're only going to wire this box up if you have a good 10 minutes or so left. Then I turn it around like this. I take my two white wires and I do exactly the same thing. Now in this case, I'm going to go around again to the right side, but notice how I turn my outlet this way so I make sure I'm going clockwise. I go ahead and do this, tighten it up, oh, be careful there, I'll make sure you don't slip off of the post there with your screwdriver and puncture your hand, that wouldn't be a good day. 
All right, so there we have our hots and our neutrals. And now the last thing to do is to pigtail the same way you did in the last one. And then there's your ground screw right there for the pigtail. And that is how we wire this up. So again, just to recap, you're gonna have the power coming in here. This will be a hot um, outlet. Then you're gonna have Romex powering this switch, which will of course control your light. And that is how you add a outlet to your circuit.